In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to clear cache on your iPhone 15. Now I have the 15 Pro Max here, but this works on all the iPhone 15 models. Now before we start, I want just to debunk one myth, and that myth is that there's a special button on the iPhone somewhere that you can press and it's gonna clear all the cache for you. Now that is a big lie because the browsers collect cache differently the apps co uh, collect cache differently, different apps collect cache differently. So the best way to clear cache on your iPhone is to go to the main culprits. Now, some of the major culprits are your browsers. So you want to clear cache on your Safari browser and Chrome, if you use Chrome and any other browser that you use. And then you also want to go to the most popular apps that you use, maybe TikTok, Instagram, and other apps that you use to clear cache, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you some of the apps, especially the browsers, how to clear cache from the browsers. And then maybe I'll also show you how to clear cache from TikTok and also from the App Store. So let's start with Safari browser. So what you want to do is go to settings. That should take you to the main settings page. Here, scroll down and find Safari. Tap on it. And then under Safari, if you scroll down, you should see the option to clear history and website data. Tap on that. And then what you want to do is tap on, and then confirm you want to clear history but of course, that's after selecting the time frame. So you can clear for the last one hour, for today, today and yesterday, or all history. I'm just select all history and tap on clear history. Okay. And that will clear the cache from Safari browser. Now, next, I also want to look at Google Chrome. For this one, we'll need to go into the Chrome browser itself. So launch Chrome if you have Chrome on your iPhone and then tap on the three dots in the bottom right corner. And from the menu, tap on clear browsing data. So that's going to give you another menu. We have browsing history, cookies, and site data. And then you have cached images and files, okay? So if you tap on that, you have the option to clear that browsing data. You can uncheck browsing history if you want to, to keep your browsing history. If you want to delete it as well, just tap on that and you can go checking everything you want to delete. Now, I'll just uncheck this and only clear the cached images and files and then tap on clear browsing data and confirm. And that's going to clear my cache from the Chrome browser. Now, I didn't really have much, but if you had a lot, that's how to clear it. Now, before we get into some specific apps, uh, you might also want to look at restarting your iPhone because resetting your iPhone does clear some of the cache data that's being stored by your iPhone. So all you have to do is switch off your iPhone. So side key, volume up, press and hold, switch off by swiping like that. Give it about five to 10 seconds and then long press the side key until you see the Apple logo and then release and allow your phone to boot back up. That does clear some of the cache data. Now, also offloading apps does clear some of the cache data. So go to settings. On the main settings page, go to general, tap on that, and then tap on iPhone storage. Now this is going to list all the apps uh, that are on your iPhone. So let's look at an app like, let's see. Let's look at YouTube for instance. So if you tap on the YouTube app, you can actually see that documents and data occupy 222 MB, okay? Now that's not the app itself, that's just the app data. You can even tap on show all to see all the apps on your iPhone. Let's look at Facebook, for instance. 
you can see we have 85.2 MB in documents and data. The app size itself is just 300 MB, but we have 85 MB in app size and data. So, I mean, not in app size and data, in documents and data. Okay, so let's look at an app like uh, this one. We have 153 MB. What you want to do is offload the app. That's going to uh, remove the app temporarily, and then you can reinstall that app. Okay, so offloading will delete the app, but it's going to retain all the important data on your iPhone. And then when you reinstall it, you should have less documents and data. Okay, so I'm going to look for a smaller app so it doesn't take too much time. Let's look at an app like Instagram. Okay, so we have 2.5 gigs of just documents and data. The app itself is 2.37 MB, but 2.5 gigs is documents and data. So this is a good candidate. So tap on offload and then confirm you want to offload the app. Better still, you can actually completely uninstall the app by tapping on delete app and tap on delete app to confirm you want to completely uninstall that app. With the app completely uninstalled, simply go to the app store and reinstall that app. So, search for Instagram app and reinstall it. And with the app reinstalled, let's have a look. Let's go back to, in fact, let's launch the app and log in. There you go. So now if you go back to settings, and then go back to general and iPhone storage. Let's look for Instagram. So as you can see, the documents and data have now shrinked to just 34.2 MB. And this just goes to show that our apps accumulate a lot of cache data and you might want to go to the uh, most popular or the most used uh, five apps on your iPhone and try to clear cache individually on these apps. Okay, there's no, there's no button you can press to clear cache from all the apps. You have to look at a specific app and people use different apps differently. Okay, so just go to your iPhone, look for the apps you use the most and clear cache from those specific apps. And then that's basically how to clear cache on your iPhone. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.